Can I go or not? Yeah, get the hell out. Thank you. Get back in your car. Settle down. If you can't handle the get job, get back go in your goddamn car. Did you get picked on as a kid? In school? Oh, you got it picked on people. I don't want you to talk yourself into handcuffs. Have a good day. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Today's story was submitted by a viewer named Matt, who on February 13th of 2022 was driving home when he noticed a road construction crew was blocking his path. He traveled the detour that led him around his neighborhood so that he could enter his street from the other direction. But on that side, the road was blocked as well. A single Pasco County Sheriff's cruiser was partially blocking the street. Matt slowed to a stop when he came to his road with his turn indicator on in an attempt to inform the deputy of his intent to drive through. His house was just down the street, and this was now his only point of access. The deputy didn't respond, so Matt slowly began turning onto his street. He pulled his vehicle up to the deputy's cruiser and reports that he still got no response. So eventually, he began to proceed. At that time, Deputy Kevin LaPointe hits his siren, so Matt stops, rolls down his window, and begins talking with the deputy. You decide to go right through so the whole people, So people that can't live here, that live here can't go up there? Don't you think you should probably stop and explain, hey listen, I gotta go to a certain area because it's blocked off at a certain point and you'd be a dead end um, anyway. Stop, darling. Yeah, but you, you went right past All the right, whole thing. Alright, what are we doing here? Where's your house? Right up there on Kitten Trail. Okay, where? See the curve? Yes. Just past the curve on the left. Is it before, is it north of Little Beat Court? Yes. Okay. I just drove all the way around to get here. Okay, well I don't know that. Well, I'm explaining it to you now. I know. Can you... I go or not? Yeah, get the hell out. Thank you. See you later. Matt accelerates away from the deputy without peeling out or losing control of his vehicle and heads to his house. Deputy LaPointe jumps into his cruiser and peels out to chase Matt down. This becomes important later. Matt pulls over to the side of the road as Deputy LaPointe initiates a traffic stop. Get back in your car! Get back in your car right now! I'm telling you right now, get back in your car! Oh, you're gonna fucking shoot me? You come out of your car on a traffic stop, you're gonna offer you. Obviously, it's a dangerous situation. Get back in your car! Settle down. If you can't handle the get job, get back go in your goddamn car! Matt returns to his vehicle, and Officer LaPointe calls for an additional unit before asking Matt for his documents. Put me on a traffic stop with Delta Hotel Mike, X-ray 09. It's gonna be a Mercedes Benz. Send me one more, please. I'm 10 4. License, registration, insurance. What'd you stop me for? License, registration, What'd you stop me and for? insurance. What'd you stop me for? License, reason for the stop. You'll find out as soon as I have your information. Supervisor. You'll find out as soon as I have your information. And I'll, and I'll give you it as soon as I get a supervisor. So you're failing to, so so you're failing to identify yourself at a traffic stop? I'm not failing to identify at a traffic stop. Okay. License, registration, and insurance. I Video all you want. You're free. I have I the body cam since I yeah, stopped you in the first place. It doesn't disappear. It's, it's yeah. public record. I know it's public record. License, registration, and insurance. What's the reason for the stop? You fail to yield to a police barricade. You screech in your tires as you leave. You're driving fast. You're obviously frustrated. Yeah. So I'm asking for your license, your registration, and insurance on a lawful legal stop. As covered many times on this channel, it is of great importance to film all of your interactions with state actors, especially law enforcement. While the deputy is correct in stating that he is recording, it is likely that he has never had to submit a records request and is unaware that the video files produced by the department are often denied, heavily redacted, or cost exorbitant amounts of money. Some incidents have even shown officers altering or disappearing the records. Filming your own incidents allows you to have a free, unredacted, and immediately available record. The more egregious point, however, is that Deputy LaPointe also claims that Matt failed to yield to a barricade, although it is clear on film that he allowed Matt to pass. Can I go or not? Yeah, get the hell out. Thank you. He also claims that Matt screeched his tires as he left, but again, it is clear on film that the only driver to break traction was the deputy. Get the hell out. Thank you. See you later.
He then claims that Matt is frustrated. However, I am still unable to find an applicable Florida statute to cite Matt concerning his mood. And finally, he claims Matt was driving fast. He doesn't provide a speed, as it is likely that in his own frustration and adrenaline fueled chase, that he never clocked Matt's speed and would be unable to prove whether Matt was speeding. But now, Deputy LaPointe wants Matt's documents. Okay. And you're failing to and provide I'm, any identification. I'm not failing to provide. I'll okay, it's been handed to me. All right, can I request a supervisor before I hand it to you? You can hand me the information first before you f start failing to provide your identification. Supervisor, please. You do realize that failing to provide identification is arrestable. Car's off. Okay. Failing. Supervisor, please. Failing to provide identification. License, registration, insurance. I have no idea if you're that registered owner. All I did is have dispatch run your tag. I did not run it. Oh, fucking cops, man. Did you get picked on as a kid? In school? Oh, well, you got it picked on, people. Listen, I'm not going to feed into your bullshit. Oh, I know so you're not going to feed into the bullshit. You can talk all you want. It really means nothing to me. You should probably find another line of work, homie. Can't handle this line of work. Registration? I think this is a bit much for you. McDonald's. Okay. McDonald's. You said that twice already. It's getting old. Yeah, I think old. Come up with some, some new material. Maybe it'll actually stick. Well, I don't know. I don't know when this is good till, but... Okay. Go have fun. November 2021. So you're, you don't have an, an insurance card that's updated. Run that one. It's good. It's legit. You're supposed to have it on you. Do you have an electronic copy? I'll give you the option to get that. Try this one. I'll give you like fucking six of them. You okay. Want them? How about the right one? How about yeah, all the information is the same. This one's May 2021. That look. one's November 2021. Do you do you not have an updated insurance? I have an updated insurance. It's one of those. All right. Is it electronic? I'll give you the opportunity to pull up a digital one. Okay, just, just write me the ticket. You're gonna write a bunch of tickets anyways. Right. Write me well, ticket. So he failed to yield for the police barricade. He went around me, so I stopped him, and then he decides that. So he fails that, to understand and explain to you. Yeah, stopped him. When I started so, going around, uh, I, started, I stopped. He went around, so I stopped him. I hit the hit the uh, siren to get him to stop. I didn't fail to he yield. finally stops stopped after he's beyond the, the barricade. So then I'm explaining to him that obviously it's shut down up here. He said, I go, where are you going? So he coughs an attitude right out of the gate. I'm going to my house. I go, okay, that's great. Where's your house? I need to know where you're going because you can't go past a certain area. So then he coughs an attitude and he figures out, we end up figuring out where he's, where he's going. So that good. I said, cool. so then get the hell out of here and just go. He decides he's going to start What's burning that? his tires and taking off like crazy. And his tires starts, you know, he starts, you know, fishtailing and all that. So that's Fish why tail. I felt like uh, You got that on camera, off. right? We all carry body worn cameras. No, no. It's, it's been, it's been, it's been on since I, I talked to you the first time. So you got me fish talent and losing control of the car, right? I got you peeling out and all that. I didn't peel. Hey, I don't have to talk. I left rapidly. Deputy LaPointe appears to lie to the second deputy on scene, claiming that Matt peeled out and fishtailed, but as we established earlier, the only vehicle to lose traction was the Sheriff Department cruiser. Deputy LaPointe returns to his vehicle to write Matt's citation. Did not break traction. I hope All you got right. that on camera because I'll see you in court. Okay. All right. With my lawyer. Maybe I'll be at McDonald's like you suggested. Ma maybe you should be flipping fucking burgers. This guy's got an attitude, man. Are you from New York? Yeah. He's got an attitude <laughs> and he tell. wants to jump out of the car like he's fucking king shit. Well, no, the re we got this area I, blocked I out it. for a reason. I get it. I was up there and I turned around and drove all the way around to come back here. Mm -hmm. So I need to go right here. I hear you. <laughs> and I go to drive by, and I go nice and slow. And I figured, all right, he didn't even try to get out of the car when I went by. I was like, stopped right in front of his car. He didn't open the door, roll the window, nothing. So I started to go. Yeah, but you get Boop. if we got barricades up, you can't just drive around the barricade. But people that you can't go home, you can't go to the place you're supposed you to. You have go? to ask him to see to make sure that because we can't verify and that until we the, talk to you. When he hit the thing, I completed my stop. And he gets out with an attitude. You don't see the control car? No, obviously I Still, see it. I didn't crash into it. Well, the part is that you can't drive around the barricade to begin with. This is retaliatory because I gave him an attitude. He wouldn't have done this if I didn't give him an attitude. Oh, well, I mean, if anybody that you come across that gives you an attitude, you're not going to like it, right? Matt's observation is likely true. 
but the deputy's remark in defense of a contempt of cop citation is very telling about the culture within the department. Supporting Deputy Francis continues to explain that it's about respect, all while failing to understand that situations like this are exactly why law enforcement has lost so much of it. Matt was merely trying to get home, and is now being accosted for having an attitude with a guy that gave him attitude, and appears to lie about the interaction to force him into court and possibly pay ridiculous fines for events that don't appear to have occurred. Matt and Deputy Francis have a very polite conversation about the incident and various other topics, and after about 20 minutes, Deputy LaPointe returns. You requested a supervisor? Yeah. Oh, you I, didn't hear me? Do you want him It's on your body cam. I asked you for a supervisor at the beginning of this interim. Oh my right. God. You I didn't request that. one. I did not request one. No. I asked you to request a supervisor. Oh, yeah. It's on your body camera at the beginning of this stop. I will let him know what's going on. Now you want to do it and detain so, me longer? So here's your information. All right. Here's your license. Jesus Christ, man. Where the give you, you want to be a cop at? Drive around in a detour barricade. It's $164. Fantastic. Fantastic. Good. You have 30 Don't days to basically Get pay it or take care of it. Fantastic. Am I signing? You also got. Uh, Am I signing? You also got any information? Am I signing? Or start or park, stop standing. Do I need to sign? Sixty-four dollar citation. You have 30 days to take care of it. Option take one is obviously you. take you care of it, and then you have a court option there. The other option Do is. Do I need to no sign them? Insurance. One hundred and fourteen dollars. Okay. Holy. You have 30 days to take care of it. Again, you have option one, which is pay the penalty. Option five is obviously go to court and select the magistrate. You Do they to need to be them. signed? Nope. Thank All you. Set. How fing hard was that? All set. Give me a card, please. I'm not. You don't need a card. My name and badge is LaPointe 6854. I don't have to provide you any actual documentation. One more La time? LaPointe 6854. Thank you. Yep. There you go. Pasco County Sheriff's Office. So that way you don't oh, forget I know that where one. You're at. Okay. Do you still want a supervisor? You, want, you still want a supervisor? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll let them know. How long to do that? You asked you in the beginning of the stop. You're free. You want one or not? Which I'm gonna force. You want one or not? Go f off. I don't want one. Okay. Go That's what off. I figured. That's why we didn't call one. Yeah. Have a good day. Boston versus Yeah. You're all set. Have a good day. Go. You're all set. Yeah, I don't want you to talk yourself into handcuffs. Have a good day. Take care. Hey. Take care. Let's, nope. I said I don't want you to do that. Go. No, 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 no. Go. You don't want me to talk myself into handcuffs? You're threatening me? No, I'm not. That's not a threat. What are you going to arrest me for? That's an education of the law. Good. What are you going to arrest you're me for? You're all set. Have a good day. Educate. Educate. This is obviously what you're working for. Let's turn around. Yeah, let's go because he's, he, he said he was going to be an asshole. Yeah, I know. So. Sure. Yeah, I'll meet you up there if you want, Jesse. Yeah. Okay. Matt was issued three tickets. One for the improper start of a stopped vehicle. A second ticket for driving around a detour or barricade. Can I go or not? Yeah, get the hell up. Thank you. And a third ticket for no proof of insurance but Matt tells me that one of the insurance cards had the correct effective date. He intends to fight all three tickets and file a complaint on Officer LaPointe. I'll be sure to provide updates as they become available, but for now, let me know what you think about this encounter in the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like to submit for review, use the link in the description or pinned comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification for future content. And remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. It really helps the channel. If you enjoy our content, try our other channels, Lackluster Limited for criminal psychology content and The Odd Side for paranormal videos. Shirts and other merchandise are available at the Teespring store. Memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to help further support the channel and get a slick lack logo next to your name. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. All links are down below.